Hello there, my next video on my top thousand countdown goes from numbers 940 to 931. Um, so we will go through the 10 fighters, I've shaved them down a little bit more, there's no point over... Well, I've got 100 videos to do, so basically there's no point doing them longer than I have to, okay? I've got to go through my countdown, it doesn't have to be as long. So I've shaved a little bit more time off them. Let's meanwhile go to the first fighter, the fighter in number 940. Uh, and I'm hoping this fight where Mikey Garcia does come off. It is Regis Progre, a fighter I respect. Um, a fantastic fighter he is. Regis Progre has beaten three world champions in his career up to date. Um, from his four fights against world champions, obviously the only fighter he hasn't beaten is Josh Taylor. Regis Progre has had two world title fights. He has not yet made a title defence. Um, and Regis Progre so far has had four fights against top 10 rated fighters. Um, Progre comes in with two fights against top three rated fighters. Um, and he has had one fight against a ring champion. Now, Regis Progre has been top 10 rated in his career so far, okay, for five years. He's been top three rated for three years, and uh, Progre has been a ring champion for zero years. Now, against pound pound rated fighters, Regis Progre so far has had one fight against a pound pound rated fighter. Um, of course, he did not win that fight because it is the aforementioned. Josh Taylor, which not only is the only champion in pound pound he's fought he hasn't beat, uh, but also the only loss on his professional career to date. So Regis Progre starts off this latest 10 at 940. Let us now leave him there. Okay, let us jump on to fight at 939 on my ever-growing countdown in another four videos, is it? I'll have done the first 100, 10%. <laughs> Meanwhile, fighter number 939 is Victor Cordoba. Victor Cordoba beat two world champions in his career, and he had um, four fights against world champions overall. Now, Victor Cordoba had four world title fights, okay? He made one title defense, um, and Cordoba had five fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had three fights against top three rated fighters, um, Ricardo Cordoba, had no fights against ring champions, now, as a rated fighter himself, Cordoba, okay, he was top 10 rated for a total of four years. Um, he was top three rated for zero years, and he was a ring champion for zero years. Um, and Victor Cordoba had a total of three fights against pound pound rated fighters um, in his career, and he beat one pound pound rated fighter. And that, interestingly, takes me on to a comment I received. Someone who asked who was the pound pounder who Ola Afalabi beat, uh, and then in brackets he put, I'm being kind, he didn't beat any. Uh, well, when you show up on, uh, on my channel and wish to ask me something, you could try and ask me. Uh, when you try and ask me in a cocky, arrogant manner, when I've never seen you before, you rapidly, you were just hidden. Okay, I have no time for idiots on here. If you want to come and talk to me, then talk to me in an appropriate manner. Okay, otherwise, don't bother coming at all. Because if you do, you'll just get hidden. Just like you did. Anyway, meanwhile, let's go to fight at 938. Hideyuki Ohashi. Hideyuki Ohashi um, beat a total of three world champions in his career. Um, Ohashi had a total of eight fights against world champions overall. And he comes in with a tally uh, throughout his career of seven world title fights. Ohashi uh, made one successful title defense. And against top five rated fighters, okay... Um, Ah, I'm putting. <laughs> he had five fights against top 10 rated fighters, okay? He had four fights against top three rated fighters and zero fights against ring champions. Uh, I've done a bit of a mix up there, but never mind. So, yeah, he had five fights top 10, four fights top three, and no fights ring champions. Meanwhile, he was top 10 rated for zero years, top three rated for zero years, and a ring champion for zero years. Now, a few boxers do get hit by this. Uh, it's very, very rare, but there are some boxers who've never been rated. Uh, a few more in the 40s, etc., who have also never been rated. It is interesting. Ohashi has had two fights against pound pound rated fighters, um, and he has beaten zero pound pound rated fighters. So, forgive my little blip there. I've typed in the top 10 rated instead of had fights against <laughs> I'll I'll let myself off I'll let myself off when I spot him so number 937 we are going to now okay and it is okay the UK's own Paul Ingle Paul Ingle who beat um, a total of three world champions in his career Paul Ingle had five fights against world champions overall and he comes in with a total of having had four world title fights uh, Paul Ingle made one successful title defense and Paul Ingle did have uh, six fights against top 10 rated fighters in his career um, Ingle also had four fights against top three rated fighters um, but he had zero fights against ring champions now as a rated fighter himself okay Paul 
Paul Ingo was only top 10 rated one year. That one year he was top three rated. Um, Paul Ingo was never rated ring champion, so that is zero years. And against pound pound rated fighters, okay, Paul Ingo comes in with a total of three fights, okay, against pound pound rated fighters, and Paul Ingo um, beat two pound pound rated fighters individually. You see, what some people don't realize is when I use the pound pound ratings, I'm using my ratings. I don't need to use um, anyone else's ratings because I created my own yearly ratings. So, you know, I don't need to go to any sites or any lists or anything like that. If I want to talk pound pounders, I talk my own. Okay, it's something I did. So I had that autonomy. So anyway, let us leave fighter number 937 and go on to fighter 936. We're going to a current lower weight champion, um, and it is in 936, Hiroto Kayaguchi. Hiroto Kayaguchi so far has beaten two world champions in his career, um, and Kayaguchi has had two fights against world champions. Me personally, I want to fight with Ken Shiro um, to come to fruition, but we'll see. Hiroto Kayaguchi has had seven world title fights up to now, even in his short career, and he has made five successful title defences. Now, Kayaguchi has had four fights so far against top 10 rated fighters, and he has had one fight against a top three rated fighter, but Kayaguchi has never fought a ring champion. Now, as a rated contender himself, Hiroto Kayaguchi has been top 10 rated for three years. He's been top three rated for three years, and he has been a ring champion um, for three years. Against pound pound rated fighters, Hiroto Kayaguchi has not yet fought any pound pound rated fighters, and therefore he has beaten zero pound pound rated fighters individually. But Hiroto Kayaguchi is a current active world champion down there, um, and I'm sure he's going to do a lot more work going forward. And like I say, uh, by the time I do the next top thousand, and update which will be an easier set of 10 videos 10 slides 10 fighters a slide just narrating them through um, we will see in three years time two or three years time exactly where he's moved to from now but meanwhile, on to fighter number 935, okay, we have Lou Del Val. Lou Del Val, who beat no world champions in his career, never beat a world champion, interestingly enough, but Lou Del Val did have four fights um, against world champions overall. And Lou Del Val did have a total of five world title fights in his career. Um, he never defended a title, so he made zero title defences. And Lou Del Val had a total of four fights against top 10 rated opponents. He had four fights against top three rated fighters and uh, Del Val did have one fight against a ring champion. Now, Lou Del Val was top 10 rated himself as a contender for six years. He was top three rated for one year and he was a ring champion for zero years. Crikey, I must have been half, I must have been half stoned when I was doing this video because I've made a few blunders. But he was a ring champion for zero years. And Lou Del Val had two fights against pound pound rated fighters um, and he beat zero pound pound rated fighters individually. Now I kind of have been checking my videos but I mustn't have checked this one. I must have forgot this one. Um, but anyway, Lou Del Val is in number 935. You know, with every video we get close to the 900. I'm currently in the 690s, um, getting videos there ready. So I'm well ahead of myself. I've got plenty I can record and upload. Meanwhile, fighting number 934 in my top 1,000 countdown is one Zahir Rahim. Zahir Rahim beat three individual world champions in his career, um, and Rahim had five fights against world champions overall. Now, Zahir Rahim had one world title fight in his career. He made zero title defences, and he did have seven fights, okay, against top 10 rated fighters, and he had a total of six fights against top three rated fighters. Uh, Zahir Rahim had a total of zero fights against ring champions. Now, in terms of being a rated fighter himself, Zahir Rahim was top 10 rated for four years. He was top three rated for one year, um, and he was a ring champion for zero years. And Zahir Rahim had three fights against pound pound rated fighters, um, and he beat two pound pound rated fighters um, individually. So Zahir Rahim was a very good fighter, okay, never really achieved overly too much. Um, you know, to me, the highlight win was the win over Eric Morales, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, but probably could have done more um, in his career. But sadly, he didn't, so he's in at 934. My rating system um, has no violin playing. There's no violins in my rating system. The score where they score based on what they've done, end of. So let's go to fighter 933. 
okay on my breakdown um and this fighter um is one Crisanto Espana Crisanto Espana beat two world champions in his career um and he had three fights against world champions um Espana had four world title fights in his career he did make two successful title defenses um and Crisanto Espana has three fights against top 10 rated fighters um he has two fights against top three rated fighters um but Espana never fought a ring champion so he had zero fights against ring champions now as a contender Crisanto Espana was top 10 rated for five years he was top three rated for two years um, but he was never a ring champion um, so Espana was ring champion for zero years and he did have one fight against a pound pound rated fighter Crisanto Espana um, he did win it and therefore he beat one pound pound rated fighter individually we're still on many low numbers on here okay the numbers are starting to pick up where i am now um and they go even crazily higher um into the top 500 in many cases but at the moment we're still on fairly low numbers um on here the information i have on here is for information's sake i could have done this video with just 10 names on 10 slides and done it in 10 videos had it done in a week but i wanted to do the long form just to throw some stats out on there and uh throw some stats out there on these guys as well uh but like I say the redo i do will be in the shorter form so number 932 yerwin and so okay um current fighter and um, we'll see where he goes in his career from here um but yerwin and has beaten one world champion um he's had one fight against a world champion and and has already double figures in world title fights coming in with 10 world title fights um and has has made a total of nine title defenses so far so already building a huge title fight record but really if i were a deontay wilder fan is this where i now put him in the hall of fame because of that <laughs> uh, Yerwin and Kehas has had two fights against top 10 rated fighters he's had zero fights against top 3 rated fighters and zero fights against ring champions now and Kehas has been a top 10 rated contender for a total of five years he's never been top three rated um and anke house has never been a ring champion and anke house has also had zero fights against pound pound rated fighters um and he has thus beaten zero pound pound rated fighters i don't think i need to say i don't think it's wrong in saying yo when anke house needs to start fighting better opposition um you know if he wants to build a legacy in the sport because clearly at the moment he's fighting more routine fights um and he certainly needs more big names and more highly rated fighters on his roster um, going forward without a shadow of a doubt but anyway let's leave yo and in 932 and go on to the last fighter at video in 931 um, it is former middleweight champion sebastian sylvester um, sebastian sylvester beat one world champion individually in his career and he had four fights against world champions overall and sebastian sylvester comes in with a final tally of six world title fights sylvester made three title defenses and against rated fighters okay he did have seven fights against top 10 rated opponents sylvester also had four fights against top three rated fighters but had zero fights against ring champions now sylvester was top 10 rated as a contender himself for six years he was top three rated for three years um, but sebastian sylvester was never a ring champion now it, in terms of fights against pound pounders sebastian sylvester had zero fights against pound pound rated fighters and therefore he beat zero pound pound rated fighters individually so sebastian sylvester finishes off this latest 10 okay three more videos for the first 100 covered um the next video um will come uh tomorrow uh, maybe tomorrow night and then i'll do one on thursday um but more videos come in we'll soon get to the uh, 100 mark probably around october um, but there's my latest video uh, my latest 10 fighters on my massive top 1000 countdown unboxing librarian i'm out for now